Chinese workers continue their task seemingly unaware of the raging controversy over this multi-million dollar structure in the heights of Guanapo. Prime Minister Patrick Manning has admitted to Parliament that the Cabinet approved the land for the lighthouse of the Lord Jesus Christ in the heights of Guanapo. He also said that the state is not funding the church. But the indo trinbago Equality Council, headed by Devant Mirage, is not satisfied with the explanation and has lodged a complaint with the Integrity Commission under Section 32 of the Integrity in Public Life Act. Mirage in his complaint alleges political patronage in the award of the land and political influence for public utilities to connect lines. He has concerns about the involvement of Shanghai Construction Company and Udicott in the project. Udicott has denied it is involved in any way. Mirage tells the Commission that the failure of the Prime Minister and the relevant authorities to properly treat with the issue surrounding the church, as well as information from individuals, suggests that the state is constructing or involved with the church is cause for concern. Equally alarming, Mirage says, is the connection of the church with Juliana Pina, who allegedly has links with the Prime Minister in an apparent spiritual capacity. Mirage says ITEC has no objection to the state assisting religious and non-profit organizations, but it has a concern where the state exhibits a preference for one religious sect merely because the Prime Minister apparently supports that sect. He says the lack of transparency and process which is not extended to other religious bodies is cause for unease. This, he says, leads one to the conclusion that Section 24 of the Integrity in Public Life Act was violated. That section of the Act applies to a person in public office who administers public resources, saying such a person must be fair and impartial in exercising his public duty and afford no undue preferential treatment to any group or individual. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.